Hi and welcome back to the channel for any current subscribers and hey to anyone new who's watching this. So a few weeks ago I got a pair of the Fox Defend Kevlar trousers. I wanted to do a review of them because a lot of people have been looking at winter kit, waterproof kit, it's getting into the, the cooler, wetter unfortunately, winter months and especially in Scotland there is a lot of rain. So what I want to look at in this review, I want to have a look at the, the breathability of the trousers, are they okay, are they too warm? The classic and so, such important question, can you fit knee pads under them? The waterproofing, what level is that? The comfort when you're pedalling, how stretchy are they? And also the, the fit, are they true to size or, or what have I found? My other half also got a pair. Uh, so I've got the men's here, I've got the women's as well. Of course they're the same trouser, just slightly different fit. So the trouser itself, it's I quite like the design, obviously I like the style. They're, they have a couple of pockets on the sides which are handy for, for phone snacks etc. Um, they are tapered on the legs as well, um, so they're not too, they don't really bunch up in their own places and they sort of, they, they fit quite nicely I found for me. And um, Thomas has found the, the same with his. In terms of breathability, They've got, I quite like them because they've got the air vents down the thighs and also on the backs of the legs there. So there is actually plenty of, plenty of air that can, can circulate. Obviously they are warmer than shorts and I taken them out on a few different kind of days. I had them out when it was around zero one morning and they were, they were perfect. Temperature control was fine. I did try wearing them on a warmer day because it was wet last week and it was like 13, 14 degrees and it was too hot, but that's what you expect. So temperature control, not too bad. The knee pads question. So they've got the Kevlar around the knee, which is stronger, meant to be stronger, abrasion resistant. Fine, I've not really had to, to try that out too much yet, which is good, just a couple of wee offs, no problems at all but there's plenty of space in there which is good um, and that's one of the things that kind of attracted me to these because I wear quite chunky knee pads I've got them here, excuse the mud they are usually permanently muddy uh, but I've got some, some IXS pads and you can see they're, they're not exactly the, the slim fit trail, trail pads and these fit under, under them great so absolutely no issues there um, which is a bonus Waterproofing. So I had them out when the first time I took them out it was raining and I did see the water just bouncing off them. It repelled the water really well. However, the last time I was out it was after a day of rain. It was dry that day but there was a lot of water on the trails, quite a lot of puddles and I found that the, the rear panels just, yeah, it got, it got wet, it got damp, and they didn't hold up more than about a trail. So they are, I wouldn't say they're waterproof. Uh, if you're looking for something completely watertight, then yeah, this isn't the, the trouser for you. But if you're looking for something like me that you just want to keep the dirt off really, make it a bit easier, and just something that will, will repel the rain, then ideal. In terms of how they fit, so, for a female, I went for a medium, a normally a size 10. I think this was actually a bit too big, so it was a wee bit annoying. But um, I'm making do. Thomas, in the male, he found them really true to size and he uh, went for a 34. He's kind of between a 32 and 34 and this is fine. You'll notice the, the closure on them. So they close with a, a ratchet strap which is really useful because you can adjust the adjust the size by a good few inches. For some reason it's more in the, the male than it is in the female. 
um, and for me because I've just I find them a wee bit too big I'm just going to probably stitch that in a wee bit further back and that'll solve my, my issue um, so yeah pretty much true to size I'd say if you're a female and you're a sort of 10 even 8 to 10 go for a, a small if you're more sort of 12 to 14 I would go for this this medium um, and so on male you're you're probably fine just going for your your regular size everyone's different but that's my my experience so taking Thomas's as well how are they when you're pedaling there's a load of stretch in the material which I like um, it really there's there's plenty of give and there's quite a lot of space so I found when I was pedaling it was super comfy um, as I was stretching my leg I didn't feel like the trousers were dead tight or anything so that side of it they're, they're I mean yeah they are extremely comfy I would say not they're not even just comfy uh, that's a, a big plus and they've got the stretch panels here um, at the bottom so again just around your your ankles and your, your legs they're yeah, they're nice and light feeling they don't feel too heavy they sit as well around your ankle they're not there's not they don't have that gap which you get with some so there's not really much room for water or dirt to to get in there and um, there is also space for chunky waterproof socks and stuff under them as well and I think that's probably about it. If anyone has any other questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll, I'll answer them based on my experience so far. And I hope that review was useful. If you are new to the channel and you enjoyed that, please hit like. And if you want to subscribe, most of my videos are out on the trails, a mixture of mountain adventures, enduro racing and just mucking about sessioning and, and having fun and I'm doing some of these reviews as well now and then. Thanks!